Let's talk about creating a perforation cut for a graph deck plotter. Uh, usually when we have a design, I'll just uh, draw a circle here. If you need to cut it, we will apply contour cut. And we'll select contour here. I'm going to space it a little bit from the object so we can see it. And this is going to be our uh, just a regular cut, contour cut. Now, if you want to do a perforation or cut around this, maybe you want to separate it from the object, uh, what we can do is uh, we can apply a second line. I'm going to go to effects, choose contour cut again, and here's our second line. And maybe we want to separate that from the uh, current line a little bit further. Or if you want, we can even uh, create a rectangle or any other shape. Uh, so contour, rectangle, or even ellipse. Uh, we're going to keep it as a contour now. Uh, then the important step is to change the color of this line. So we can change this, let's say, to be red. And then we're going to apply. So now if we zoom, we have two lines. One is uh, gray, one is uh, red. And the first one is our control line, and the second one will be our perforation control line. Now, how do we specify which one is going to be which? If we send this to print and cut, and we will change our plug to graph tag here. If we go to, if we zoom into it, we're going to see both lines. And we have our cutter registration marks. We want to go to Contour Option tab. And uh, driver options now, we can see we have both cars. Uh, we have that gray line and we have a red line. Now they have, uh, they both have the same cutting condition because this box is checked. So we want to uncheck this box and we can select our red line that we want to be a perforation cut and then we're going to go edit. Now we can change uh, cutting condition for each color for each line so we're going to leave counter cut on cut fast just the default settings and on the red line we can keep it on cut fast but what we need to change we can change a condition and we can assign any condition from one to eight and uh, what needs to happen then on plotter on a graph tech cutter uh, one has to assign a certain condition to its perforation cut so let's say that's assigned to condition 3. If we leave it this way, uh, what will happen when we send the job? The cutter will cut first line, then it will prompt you to move your blade to position 2, and then once you do that, then you it will start cutting this second line, which will then have uh, properties of the condition 3, and if your cutter is set to uh, cut perforation as cutter uh, condition 3, that will cut that perforation.